You might know Rick Snyder as a nerd, but we know him as a businessman and a family man. Rick and his wife Sue live in Ann Arbor. They have a son and two daughters ranging in age from a soon-to-be Albion College graduate to an eighth grader. Rick himself was born in Battle Creek and got a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and a law degree at the University of Michigan, sorry Sparty, wherever you are, by the age of 23. His business career began in accounting, moved to Fortune 500 corporate leadership, and then to venture capital, where he has spent time and money helping to build companies in Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, I could go through a long list of things this man has done. Better that he come and tell you himself what his vision is for a great Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome please, Rick Snyder, gubernatorial candidate for the great state of Michigan. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I like those sticks. You're making good use of them. Everybody having fun? Well, excellent. It's great to be with you today. I really appreciate you taking the time to let somebody like me come up on stage and talk for a couple minutes. I'm proud to say, as you heard, I'm a parent. I have three kids, and I've got one that's 14 going into high school, I've got one that's a sophomore, I don't know if it's safe to say, at the University of Michigan. And, and I have another son, I have a son that just graduated from Albion College, and he's out looking for a job right now. And that's a challenge today, and that's one of the reasons I'm here to talk with you for a few minutes, is because it's critically important we build a future for all the wonderful kids sitting here, right? We want you to stay in Michigan. Hey, these guys are getting into it. They're going to stay for sure. Now, what do we need to do to make that happen? One of the things we've been missing in our state is we need a vision for the future of Michigan. Where are we going to go in the future? We know we're going through tough times today, but where's that bright spot out in the future? So I believe it's time for a new vision for Michigan, a new era. We need the era of innovation, a place where we can have a diverse economy, a globally diverse economy, great quality of life, the Great Lakes, our natural resources, a place where we restore our central cities, where Detroit's on the path to being a great city again, and most importantly, a place where our young people not only want to stay, but can stay and have a family and a career. That's the future we need for our state, to keep all these wonderful young kids here. Now to do that, besides a vision, we need a plan. We don't have a plan in our state today. I've got a 10-point plan to make that happen that you can see at rickformichigan.com for all you internet browsers. Let me talk about one of those points in particular, though, is education. That's right, we want you to have a great education. If you look at the world today, though, our state today, we're spending billions of dollars on education, and our system is not delivering the results we deserve. If you look at Lansing, we spend way too much time just talking about spending money. We need to get back to the point of our system, which is to educate our children. So I believe we need to back up a couple steps and ask the question, what do we need to do to get our kids a great education each and every day? And we need to measure that and monitor that, not just with standardized scores, but a portfolio of work that travels with our kids, their papers, their reports, things that people can read to say, can you read, can you add, can you do, do you have the tools you need for the future? And then to go with that, let's look at the front lines. How do we reward the best teachers? How do we help them succeed? How do we help teachers that are struggling? How do we focus on academics, athletics, and cultural issues? And then how do we save costs behind the scenes? And then how do we fund the system? That's the system we need, and that's the system I want to see happen. 
Now, early childhood is near and dear to my heart, too. A wonderful event like that. It's great to be here at the inaugural event of something great like this. And the reason I say that is I was fortunate. I actually spent a few years out of state to see what other states are doing. Back in the 90s, I was in South Dakota. And actually, I'm proud to say I worked on an effort that you still have here today, but it was very early back then called Success by Six. I got to hear the founders of the program out of Minneapolis back in the early 90s and hear that fire and passion and see the results. And it's great to see it coming here. Now the question is, is how do we do it even better? How do we become that role model for the rest of the country on early childhood and then our educational system? Actually, I prefer to call our whole system P20, not K through 12, not higher ed, but preschool through lifelong learning. That's the philosophy we need to get to. Thank you. Those sticks are popular. We could use those on the campaign trail. And just to end with one thing, I talked about a vision and plan. The last thing we need to do, though, is action. We have to take action. Too often in this state, we've simply talked about doing things. And we have a broken culture in our state. We've been beaten up for so many years. We've gotten too negative. We've got our heads down too much. We need to bring back some fire and passion to believe about doing extraordinary things. And we need to stop being divisive about saying someone's won and someone's lost. So we need to reduce the partisanship, the geographic issues, the racial and ethnic issues in our state, and build a Michigan where we can work and win together. That's the direction we need to head. And just to close with you, because I know you got a lot more fun activities than listening to people running for office. What I would tell you, it is time for Michiganders to stand up, not as Republicans, not as Democrats, not from the east side, not from the west side, but as Michiganders, and stand up and say, we deserve a better government. We need to stop looking in the rear view mirror. We need to look out towards the future. We need to stop being negative. We need to start being positive. And we need to stop talking about fixes and fundamentally reinvent our state and become a great state again. So thank you so much for your time. Have fun, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.